All right, bro. What we got going on here now, man? Man, we just ordered these shocks on eBay. <laughs> From where? eBay. eBay. They are some screwing. So long story short, this dude was trying to—he was taking apart his bike already, and I'm like, bro, you don't even know if the shocks are in there, man. You know what I'm saying? Like. Bro was still looking at lifting the bike. It could be a shake weight in there for all we know, dude. It feels like a lot. More. Uh, we don't want to have your like suspension off and then be like, what? We got we got scammed. That's pretty heavy, dude. Is it a shake weight? No. That's disappointing. So how much were these bad boys? These were like eighty five plus mm -hmm. twenty dollars shipping. Supposedly it's heavy, uh, man. Brand new takeoffs. Never uh take off of what, bro? What are these good taking off of? One of the bigger touring bikes. Is this gonna make your bike faster? I don't know about that. Nah, so for real, the reason why you bought these is because your bike was basically bottoming out without like without them or we're assuming it's not going to bottom out right hopefully not with these let's look at that side by side that's what they're going to look like so it's it, should, gonna, it should, should boost it up a little bit huh going to raise the bike a little bit yes these are the 13s they have 12s they're a little bit more desirable that you know keeps the bike lower i'm actually thinking about going for a club style look those are monster so, bro those are back. big man cool sure, all right man well uh deal. let's uh start taking apart your bike We've got the so, parts laid out for the build, or the install, should I say. Uh, so, yeah, what, what do we got, dude? Got some longer bolts. These are half inch, uh, two and a half inches long. Uh, great so, yeah, four of them. Cool, man. Matters. Cool. Let's four of uh, those just in case we need longer bolts. Washers, in case we got to space it out so it doesn't hit the, uh, the shock doesn't hit the uh, belt guard. So, do uh, we go, like, right here? You need, you need them on top of and bottom, right? Yeah, we'll see. Hopefully these work out, dude. Um, so, and then also got these are the hardest piece to find. Got these at the auto parts store. Schrader valve. Yeah, we're gonna put these Schrader valves. In. Actually, let's do that right now. This looks open, bro. It is. It's also one of the last ones in desperate, town. Desperate, bro. So you put that on there and you just pump it up, or what? That is the. Like idea. I said, bro, this is never meant to be a tutorial channel. We don't really know what we're doing. Wait, these are shims for the back tire. I think we're gonna use these to uh, stabilize that rear tire while we take the suspension off because it's gonna change the height, though, right? So might run into some issues with uh, what's it's going on over here, man. What, what are you doing? Is it pressurized right now, or you know, I don't know. I don't know. Let's wait for that big boom. It's not gonna come. Nah, that's disappointing. So I got the plug out. These actually ship with the plug, just to make sure no oil leaked. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tear this one open. I think I should use some Teflon. Uh, I mean, it's an air part, so I probably would. Yeah, let's put some Teflon on there. Yeah, that's that's the right, right part. Guys, we're gonna wrap some Teflon. Put some this. Teflon. Okay, so this is what came with the shocks. Actually, this is the uh, cable lines, as you would run it on one of the touring bikes. Um, sports, you'd have to run this two into one, and you just air it up here, and both shocks would have even amount of air in them. We're gonna do without that. We're gonna put one of these valves on it. So you basically put on each one that little thing in there, and that connects to one of these. You go ahead, just record it, bro. Yeah. All in. right, man. Let's do it. Got that good old Teflon. You can't see anything with your Sasquatch-looking hands, bro. All right, we got these plugs pulled out of the shocks with the shift with. Got these new valves in. Teflon taped them up. And now we're going to try to lift the bike up. We don't have a bike lift. Uh, fear not. Don't judge the chunk. This, we're going to use this uh, here car lift that Juan was kind <laughs> enough to bring over. And it's pieces of wood. And send it. Send it. All right, guys. So we have Juan pushing up on it. I don't know what that is. We're supposed to be pushing up on it. Uh, I lifted the bike up. We got these blocks underneath it. We got Morgan looking funny. Hurry up, bro. Right, go ahead and <laughs> take that jack out from under it if you can, one. Nice, okay. So we just installed a six inch lift on this bike. We're gonna take it down the road. Now we've got a bike on our uh, official stand. We will get to uh, work on the shocks. I thought this bolt was bent, dude. It might be. It's dropping us, that looks like. He did crash. He is. Whoa, the bolt came off the bag. Get over there. 
Yeah, come off the back, it's on. I think we gotta pick it up a little bit more, eh? What are you doing, bro? I'm gonna pick it up. The tire, the tire, that's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You roll the tire for the shims. I'll pick it up, bro. Here, stop. The shims were for it. You need in the mallet or something, bro, so I can knock these forward. Jeez Louise. Boy, Hulk put that on there. Uh -huh. Hold this shot. Sweat in my eyes, I can't even see right now. That's a lot of complaining, bro. Aftermarket, uh. Should we put, should we put Shock the, is off. Should we put the new one on or we'll take the other one off first, too? I think we'll take the other one off. Come on, let's go, dude. Wait, it's off. Okay. significantly harder to get off than the other one. Now would be a good time to start ditching the uh, belt guards if you're ever gonna. <laughs> oh my god, this one's so much harder than the other one. side on we're gonna that was a hard side because you had to space take take into account space for the chain or belt guard this side you don't really have to but I'm gonna space it out equal to the other side just so it's symmetrical I'm gonna have one spacer that goes up against the shock and then three spacers in the back like the other side oh boy. okay You got that one actually in there pretty good by hand. You got the bottom bolt here. You're gonna have one spacer on the outside. And then we have these larger spacers. Get his feet, bro, get his feet, show <laughs> Got the dad chunkles on, work me. socks. You know what we do. Okay, again, one spacer against the shop. And then two in the back. This is also we could drag his girlfriend around town. Yes, sir. Really? And you had the bolt, Morgan? Oh, the back one? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, no. Let her rip tiered shit. You don't even have it, boo. Here, hold that. Right, let her 
rotator chip. Could have used a uh, Loctite. Okay, we're good there. Let's come back toward that spit in a second. Start working on the rest of the bike. Easy as one, two, three. Okay. What's the uh, torque set? Let's get back to you on that one. Oh, get that crescent morning. Important part here, don't forget the uh, Loctite. Don't need any parts uh, falling off at the uh, stoplight. All right, we'll tighten it all down and get it to spec. So we got the handy dandy torque wrench. What's it set to? I think 50, bro. It's kind of high. 50 foot pounds? Let's see how it feels. Well, you're not even there yet, so. Yeah, keep going. Should I hit it with the regular wrench for a second? No, I hit it with the impact wrench, dude. Yeah. What? 50. A little high. That's 45. Nah, bro. That was one of the other options. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, well, strong enough. <laughs> you need to get more leverage on it, dude. You and only should switch spots. Yeah, probably should. Break my boy's arm. That's how you know you're doing it right. Ow, oh, man, you scratching with the chonklas, bro. My bad, bro. Damn. Look at the Harley Davidson. There you go. A little pop. All right, folks. What do we got going on here, man? We got this suspension pump for my uh, mountain bike. And we're airing up the... Uh... I just heard the pressure hit. Is it reading anything? Is it reading anything on the pump? No. I don't think you have it. I don't think you have the pressure set, dude. And that is all for the shock install. We're going to have to... Uh, just ride it around, get a feel for it, see what PSI is going to end up working best. Uh, probably have to pump it up a little bit more when we try two up. In the next video, we're going to, uh, I think I'm going to be buying a new uh, pillion seat for the bike. That way I can ride uh, with the passenger. Make sure to stay tuned for that one and subscribe for more content.